Earned value technique is an excellent way to track the project progress against the project plan. It is a method of measuring the project performance objectively and comparing it against the project baseline. Results from an earned value analysis indicate deviation of the project from cost and schedule baselines. Baseline is the initial approved value along with approved changes. Therefore, schedule baseline is the first approved project schedule along with approved changes. There are various terms used in earned value technique. Planned value is the authorized budget assigned to the scheduled work. Earned value is the work performed in terms of budget authorized for that work. Actual cost is the cost incurred in work performed. Budget at completion is the budgeted amount for the total work. Estimate at completion is the expected total cost for the project. Estimate to complete is the expected cost to finish all the remaining project work. Variance at completion is the projected budget surplus or deficit at the end of the project. All the parameters displayed on the screen are measured in terms of cost. You may come across business scenario-based questions on earned value management in the PMP exam, so ensure that you develop a clear understanding of this topic. Let us look at an example of a planned value in the next screen. Planned value is the estimated value of the work planned. This value is measured in terms of currency, say dollar. If the planned value is $340, then the work planned is worth $340. How do you calculate earned value? The solution is add the budget allocated to each of the activities that have been completed at the point of time. The resulting value is the earned value. In the next screen, let us look at the formula used to calculate earned value. In cost variance, negative means the project is over budget. Positive means the project is under budget. Similarly, in schedule variance, negative means the project is behind schedule, whereas positive means the project is ahead of schedule. The value of the next two parameters, Cost Performance Index, CPI, and Schedule Performance Index, SPI, values vary between 0 and 1. For example, a CPI of 0 0.8 implies that 80 cents of work is obtained for every dollar spent in the project. Similarly, if SPI is 0.9, it implies that project is progressing at only 90% of the speed originally planned. The next parameter is Estimate at Completion, or EAC. There are different ways of calculating the EAC value. The method used depends on how the cost and schedule variances are expected to play for the rest of the project. BAC by CPI is used if you expect that the current cost performance will continue until the end of the project. AC plus BAC minus EV is used if you expect that the rest of the project will be managed at the budgeted rate. AC plus BAC minus EV by the product of CPI and SPI is used if you want to factor in the impact of the cost as well as schedule variances. AC plus ETC is used if you want to re-evaluate the project based on a forecast value for the estimated cost of the remainder of the project. The next parameter is Estimate to Complete, or ETC, which is the cost of project from this point to the end. This is calculated by subtracting the actual cost from the estimate at completion. In addition, variance at completion can be calculated by subtracting the estimate at completion from the budget at completion. Variance at completion is the cost estimation whether it is over or under budget. Another parameter is the To Complete Performance Index, or TCPI. This is the cost performance needed to achieve a desired outcome. For example, if the project needs to be managed to the original budget, BAC, then TCPI, that is the CPI that must be maintained for the rest of the project, is calculated as BAC minus EV by BAC minus AC. Similarly, if it has to be managed within a revised target, say EAC, then TCPI is calculated as BAC minus EV by EAC minus AC. Before the start of the PMP exam, 
please make a note of the formulas of earned value technique. In the next screen, let us look into a business scenario to understand this concept better. After reading the problem statement, click the solution button to look at a possible answer. Let us take the example of a software development project. There are four phases, and each phase takes a month to complete and is expected to cost $10,000. The phases are planned to be completed one after the other. The status of the project at the end of the month three is summarized in the table. Requirements definition is completed and actual spending on this is $10,000. Architecture and design is done and actual spending on this is $12,000. Development and unit testing is only 50% done, though it was supposed to be completed by third month. It has cost $9,000 until date. System testing and go live has not yet started. Note, S indicates start time, F indicates finish time, and PF indicates that it is partly finished at the end of the month. Based on the above information, calculate the CV, SV, CPI, and SPI of the project. Let us look at a solution in the next screen. Before we end this lesson, let us also look at a few definitions that might be useful for your PMP examination. Law of diminishing return. This means the more you put into something, the less you get out of it. For example, Doubling the number of resources working on a project will not necessarily have the time. Working capital. The amount of money the company has to invest on the project and the day-to-day -day company operations. Funding limit reconciliation. The process of comparing the planned expenditure in a given period with the available funding for that period. Large assets purchased by the company lose value over time. This is called depreciation. There are two forms of depreciation, straight line and accelerated. Same amount of depreciation is taken every year. For instance, a car with a price tag of $10,000 and useful life of 10 years is depreciated $1,000 per year. At the end of the 10th year, the value of the car is considered zero for all accounting purposes. Accelerated depreciation depreciates faster than the straight line depreciation. For instance, a car with a price tag of $10,000 depreciates $3,000 the first year, $1,500 the next year, $1,000 the third year, and so on. Hey, want to become an expert in project management? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in project management, click here.